All right, ladies and gentlemen, fellow cultivators, look at what they've done. <laughs> Literally hours after I released the last video, big ass update comes out and everything changes. Like, interface has completely changed. They've added a new <coughs> thing in heaven. It's It completely flipped me out when I logged in. So many things have changed. I'm just going to run through them. Like, they seem to have streamlined it a bit. Down in Cultivate, you've got your Spiritual Root Skill, Talisman, Solar, Meridian, all in the one area now. I mean, I have to say, that's a pretty good update. They've changed the look of Talisman, Soul. They've changed the look of Skill. They've changed the look of Meridian. Everything's changed. Oh, my goodness. Inventory... You can no longer go into Talisman, Soul, and Meridian at the top there, but it seems that every other interface has stayed the same once you've gone in. It seems just a external UI change, which is still cool, don't get me wrong. Very, very interesting. I'm going to quickly do my Alliance stuff because I'm actually creating a video later than I normally am. Dear! Are you serious? 1%. 1% oh, I'm gonna wait I'll let someone else kill that but let's let's have a look at heaven real quick oh my goodness yeah everything has changed wow goodness me I'll show you the new thing they've added very soon but first I'm gonna have to give a shout out to ninja mango I will say what he said in the description because there is so much information there it's uh, every single servant from earth on every sect so I, I was going to say it out loud but i figured probably be easier me just rewriting the information into the description so it's easier for people to just skim down rather than have to reverse back through the video and listen to me butcher the names you know explores the same everything's the same there sect is in the left corner now strange very strange but cool it looks a lot better heavens up in the corner up there but I mean I prefer swiping up regardless it just feels better anyway what they have changed however is obviously heaven palace there but immortal capital look at this brand new visit but before I get to that I also have to say I was given information from Athena Autumn who told me that there is pretty much a secret <laughs> market in heaven sect so at the top here, Pill Formula Skill Book. Little did I know you can turn that across and, and you've got Immortal Beast. I had no idea. I had no idea. But there are two beasts you can get here for 30k each and a servant for 50k. I'm very glad I was told that because that is information I had no idea about at all. So big shout out to Athena there. That was That's a good find. That's my next thing that I'm saving up for, to be honest. But yeah, Immortal Capital. Oh, well, they put Ruin in here as well. <laughs> it's really streamlined it. Anyway, Visit. <clears throat> so as far as I've gathered from Visit, they're basically spirit pets, but you have to become best friends with all of these spirits. And the way you become best friends is in the bottom left, you see Talha. You have to, it's sort of like interacting with your spirit pets. Instead, you're visiting these higher tier spirits, I, I guess. And you click visit. You get a random one like you do with the pets. And then your relationship with the spirit becomes higher as it goes on. I, I'm not sure how many times you're going to have to interact with them because it's random. So it's 3, 6, 9, 12 different spirits that you can interact with randomly. So... Not too sure how long it's going to take me to actually become best friends with one in order to start raising them as a pet to get stats, but I imagine that's going to be good once I get this. And apparently, Tau Heart, the higher your Tau Heart number, the greater the chance of a good encounter with these spirits. And every time you visit one of them, you lose two. And I believe you gain... Tau heart by either waiting, letting time pass, and you'll gain it over time. Oh, I became an acquaintance. I wonder how far best friend is from acquaintance. It sounds like a while. 
But yeah, for Tower Heart, you can add to it by spending 7 XP in Spirit Pact and obviously Spirit Jade, but you know, I'm not going to do that. So 100,000 7 XP is going to get me an extra 2 Tower Heart, which isn't really that bad, but if, if you really want the best results, I'm guessing that you're going to have to stock yourself back up to 90, which is the max you can have, as far as I know. And each time you interact, you top yourself back up to 90 in order to give yourself the highest chance possible to get a good encounter. Now, I'm not sure if getting a good encounter is going to give you, um, say, skip an entire thing. So go from briefly met to friends or something. If you get like a rare encounter, no idea, because this literally came out today. The Hall of Fame here is just, you know, first ascendance, number one personal spirit rank, personal force ranking, personal contents ranking. You could tell who's the uh, top players or clan in this TC, whatever that is. I don't know what that is. But, you know, whatever. I'm going to finish interacting with these. But yeah, literally, I upload the video and the next thing I know, I, a huge update comes out and I'm like, ah, oh, I have to make another video before I go to bed. And so here I am. I do, I do like the new interface though. It's very cool. Like that just looks so much better. And I am almost another level in realm and that's changed as well. So when you want to level up in realm, you have to actually click your character now and you'll go into this awesome background. You got birds, geese, is that swans, maybe flying in the background. Amazing. And you've got your Overcome and your Flesh Refining. My only issue with it is though they've lost the commas in their numbers. So it just looks like a huge amount of numbers now. Like rather than it just looked better when there were commas there. But that's just my opinion. You know, it just looks less, more clunky with that many numbers. I mean, I know that's, you know, 1.22 billion, but it just looked better when you can see that your total cultivation base, it's split by how a number should be split up. But yeah, again, that's just my personal thoughts on that. It's interesting regardless. I am keen to see what these new servants are going to give me because, well, I'm hoping it's a lot of stats. That would be ideal. Yeah, someone killed it. Ow. God, they're so strong. But yeah, as I said, we, we never killed the fourth boss. It's a bit sad. But it is what it is. I mean, I, I really should go to a better clan, but there's really no telling if I just get kicked from it, you know? But, yeah. That's really just what I wanted to get out there before signing off here. I will be... have a half immortal eight by the end of today. And then nine in two days... 10 in 4 days, and then hopefully Profound Immortal at most 7 days, so earlier than my first estimate, but, uh, you know, I'll keep you posted, hopefully I get another, see look, in Spirit Pet you've got these new ones here, it's very interesting, I really, really want to see what they do, but I have no choice but to just grind <laughs> these visits, unfortunately. But we'll see what happens. I'm just going to interact with these pets. Might as well. Got to do as much as you can. The free-to-play life is real. Cultivate. But yeah, I'll leave you with that, ladies and gentlemen. And I shall see you in the next video. Enjoy your day.